It's all down to musicians taking responsibility for the environment, uh, thinking about how we tour, uh, you know, how we reach our audiences. There's a lot of practical things we can do, uh, and a lot of them I think are positive. They actually help us as well as helping the environment. So I'd like to see a little bit more of that, a little bit more talk about thought about that. I mean, we're all doing what we can on a lot of different levels. I'm Carla McLaughlin and I work at the Tyndall Centre for Climate Change Research. And we've been doing work on a super low carbon live music roadmap. So that's really about trying to fundamentally and substantially reduce the emissions um, of live music. So we've done that work uh, with the band Massive Attack and we've really been focused on th three key principles. So the first one of those is perhaps the most important, which is that you have to put this in right from the beginning of how you think about what you're doing. Not at the end, once you've got your dates and how you're doing things, but right at the beginning about how much stuff you take, who you take, how you design your show, um, what partnerships you have around your tour. So that's really important. It's really important that people stretch out and use their influence beyond their direct control. So what partnerships can you make? How can you try and unlock more change? And then, you know, making sure that you keep monitoring and learning about what you've done. Not everything will work um, and you need to, I think, talk and share about what doesn't work as much as what doesn't so that you can really try and accelerate change across the sector.